you made it through winter. You made it through fall two. Well, you made it through fall one as well earlier on. And now we got the spring coming up. How's everything going? How'd the planning go? Are we ready to rock next week? Uh, well, we started. We're, we're underway right now. Um, so our first day of tryouts was uh, was Monday. So we have over 500 student athletes uh, participating, uh, which is awesome. If you think of you know, just a year ago, right where we were a year ago. So uh, it's just great to have so many kids participating. Um, you know, there's obviously some unusual additions to the spring season with, uh, for us, wrestling and cheer um, being um, competed um, this particular season. Uh, we're still waiting on the modifications with wrestling, uh, but we have started our practices. Um, and then once we get those modifications, we'll be able to put together a full schedule and figure out what a meet's going to look like and you know, so some of those details we're still waiting on, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, no, things are going great. You know, I, I, you know, from everything I've seen, the kids are certainly excited. And I think there's a, you know, sort of a special place for, that I think everybody has for the spring athletes um, in terms of what they lost last year. Um, when you really think about it, 50% of the students we have playing spring sports right now, we're in middle school. The last time we had a spring season. Um, you know, and your, your senior class was sophomores, you know, you, you don't really have returning players per se this year. Um, you know, so there's a lot of things that you don't really think about, um, when you lose a season, um, there's, there's a real trickle down, um, impact, you know, in terms of tryouts, um, in terms of, you know, coaches haven't seen these, uh, these students in a long time, uh, right. at least not in this capacity. And so, I mean, think of how much, any player grows from their ninth grade year to the 11th grade year, the 10th grade to the 12th. I mean, that's a huge, huge difference. And, uh, you know, so I think that's a challenge that our coaches are dealing with right now and trying to evaluate during the trial process. But, but again, I think we'd all prefer this over, over what we had last year. So. Absolutely. The spring season, pretty much a full slate of games and we'll have playoffs as well. You'll have the uh, sectionals, you'll have the States. So it'll be, a pretty normal season, obviously a little cramped uh, more than usual. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, despite the fact that uh, there's a lot of players we didn't see uh, last year, is all going well with the tryout so far? Yeah, so far things have been great. Um, the coaches have been great. The, the student athletes have been great. Um, you know, we got some, you know, inclement weather coming in, unfortunately. But but so far, the first few days have gone really, really well. Um you know, and Tom, you mentioned this will be our first time out of the four seasons that we're going to play a full slate of games. And, and I say full, right? We're still not playing 20 games because we don't have quite enough time to play 20, but we're doing the full TVL schedule for those of you that, so for those of you that may not know, it's, we play everyone in the large twice and all of the crossovers. Uh, we've mostly just been staying within the large um, besides, you know, maybe some crossover games just to fill in the schedule when you lose an opponent due to quarantines and things like that. Um, and then in the fall, obviously we just did pods totally based on geography. So this is really the first time we're kind of back to that sense of uh, a normal TVL schedule. Um, and we do have a couple non-leagues. Um, we're not opposed to playing non-leagues. It wasn't, it was more that we just didn't have any place to put them right. <laughs> in our schedule. Um, the MIAA only allows you to play three games a week unless you have to reschedule due to weather. Um, so we already had Monday, Wednesday, Friday, almost every week. Um, and so as a result, we really didn't have much room to, to add um, besides a couple things here and there. 